In a points gray book, you can use the settings area to set a whole bunch of global settings for your grade book instead of going to individual items. So within the manage grades area, you would click on settings. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is talk about the personal display options. These are options for you as the instructor and what you see in your gradebook, not for what the students see, for what you see in the gradebook. I'll start with grade details. The first thing you're going to see is by default the grade scheme color and grade scheme symbol are set by default. I'm going to go ahead and close this and go to the enter grade so you can understand what that is. So the color is this blue, green, orange. So the color indicates whether um, a blue would be very good grade, yellow would be a middle grade, a kind of a orangish color is a bitty little low grade. That's the scheme color. Scheme symbol right now is this percentage. So I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to choose points grade. What points grade is, it determines whether the point value associated with that grade item is displayed. I'll go ahead and save. I'm going to click close. I'm going to go to enter grades. And you'll notice that now I have the, the 9 out of 10, this one's 20 out of 20, 30. So if you want to see that, you have to check that. Instead of do it again individually on items, you can do it globally. I'll go back to settings. And if I don't want to see the grade scheme color, for example, or the grade key scheme symbol, I can click that and close that and go back to the enter grades. And you'll see that now all I see is the, sim the, 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 the point values. I'm going to go back to settings and talk about some other settings. The first one here, number of characters to display for text items. Well, that's a particular a specific grade item. So if you use a text item, this is how many will display. The next thing is number of columns before user details repeat and the number of users before column header repeats. These are important because in the gradebook in D2L, you have to scroll up and back and down and forth. And if you scroll and the header doesn't repeat or the columns don't repeat, you wouldn't know what students go along with this grade item or what um, with the headers you don't know what the grade item is. So I'm going to leave it like this for a minute. And I'm going to close. Go ahead and save. I'll go back to enter grades. And so what I'm showing here is as I scroll this is the header that repeats after 10 students and then these are the columns the first and last name that repeat after five. If this bugs you or you'd want to do it differently, you go back to settings and maybe I want the columns to repeat after eight students and I want the header to repeat after five. And I click save on that and I click close and I go back to enter grades. And again, so now you'll get to see that the names don't repeat until eight, but you'll notice that now there's five and the headers repeat. So it's really your choice in terms of what you want to do in the gradebook. The nice thing about the headers and the columns repeating is that you never lose where the first name is and what the item is. And as you scroll down in the gradebook, you'll never forget what the item, um, the grade item is. All right, so now I'm going to go back to settings. And there's a couple other last ones here. And that's the repeat calcula a calculated final grade at the start of the user list and repeat adjusted final grade at the start of the user list. So if I click on close here and go back to the enter grades, you'll notice that the final grade, what's called the calculated grade, so the grade that the students have to date is always over here. Um, if I want to, and you'll also notice it nowhere else. So if I want that to repeat, I can just simply click that checkbox and click save and then close. Again, I'm going to go to enter grades and you'll notice that it start, it's over here and then it's over here. So it will repeat at various times. And that's the same if you want for the final adjusted grade. 
The last thing in the personal settings is the start page. The default grades area starts on the manage grades, which is where I would always keep it. Um, I would not change this and keep it as the default, but you can, if you want to, you could change it to the enter grades area uh, if you want, but that would mean that every time you come in, it's going to go to the enter grades and it does take a little bit more time to load. So those are the personal settings uh, that you can um, set. And again, this is done globally for your entire um, gradebook.